and good morning everyone uh, this wee video here right, um, welcome to another wee video but this video here uh, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of wee cheap made up tools but uh, I'm shooting this er uh, early this morning I was up at five o'clock this morning watching the first Formula One race and uh, you may have seen these flags on on my wall uh, in the previous videos and uh, you'd think that uh, I would be supporting some of these teams here but uh, I can tell you the guy that won that race is a really good guy really sound really down to earth and he's one of the lads and here he is here this is uh, this is a picture I took of Valtteri Bottas and my mate there over to the left who uh, spent the afternoon with Valtteri and that's that's in a pub in Monaco and we threw, we threw darts together and uh, it was Northern Ireland against Finland uh, on the dartboard in that wee pub there and uh, but unfortunately by that stage I could hardly even see the dartboard but nevertheless that is one really down the earth nice guy very approachable and thoroughly deserving it was really really good to see that superb win that he had but anyway uh, what this video is about uh, it's about automotive and we cheap tools and we cheap things you can make up this is about ultrasonic receivers now I need to I need to stress that I saw this on another guy's video a guy called Glenn Norris I think his name is definitive diagnostic so it's uh, it's really his uh, his his baby and uh, I've just sort of copied it but that's that's where you get ideas from and if somebody sees this and didn't see Glenn's video then all the uh, all the best of them you can make this up yourself very very easy as I say you get them on eBay one pound sixty one you get two a receiver the receiver is the one on the left and the one on the right there we be key on it as the transmitter but to do what I'm wanting to do you don't need the transmitter one you only need the one you throw the other one away but for all the all the price of them it's less than a quid so uh, this is for parking sensors so we all know that parking sensors they make wee clicking noises sometimes they're hard to hear some you don't know whether they're working or not and all that but they make wee, wee faint clicking noises you can stick your ear to them and you can see them if they're working well but this here will show you uh, on a scope now all this is is that wee receiver bio and two wires coming out of it I've just soldered two wires on and heat shrunk and put a bit of heat shrink on it just to make it sort of stiff so it's a bit of a wand and so that there's so it's easy to you can just pull it out of the box and stick it into your scope leads I've put a couple of jacks on it there so before I demonstrate I've, I've got the the mixig and I've got the pico here uh, I'm going to show you the difference between the two uh, using this wee tool there's no power it's just purely using uh, whatever power comes out in the leads and uh, that's that's it it's as simple as that two wires soldered on those two e prongs the two e prongs on it and uh, you connect them into your oscilloscope it's the simplest thing you can ever see and it's practically free to, to make it now I just want to talk a, a, another wee bit about a couple of other wee, wee tools here I uh, have this thing here this, this is called an ultratav which is an ultrasonic device picks up very very low frequency very very low noise uh, sounds and I thought that would have been great for parking sensors but unfortunately it ain't because it's far too sensitive so I thought I would show you a few wee things here guys I know, I know a lot of guys are starting to go into EVs and stuff I've never worked on a, an electric vehicle and I don't know where I ever will but uh, I do have high voltage stuff because that's what I work on so these here are high voltage gloves those ones are, are out of date they're tested in 2012 but they're out of date and up to 17 kV so 
they're, they're brave and thick. You put them in a gauntlet. Those are low voltage ones. Uh, those are still in date and uh, you change, have to change them every year. So, yeah, those are insulated tools up to a thousand volts. Uh, those things are rated at. That's a, an ordinary ratchet. So, anyway, I was going to just show you this uh, Alder Tev here and tell you what it is and what it's supposed to do. But I need to th it, it's actually so sensitive. Uh, I need to actually take the camera off the gimbal because it's picking up uh, the motors running on the gimbal. Uh, however, the reason why I'm going to show you this, anybody who works in EVs, I thought something, a device like this, it might be useful for them because what this is for is detecting parcel discharge, PD, uh, we refer to it as. Now, this is only a handheld device, this is only a wee, uh, this is, this is only a, a wee personal one. There's larger ones, there's ones that you can affix to uh, metal plates uh, with magnets and y y it'll record uh, over a long period of time to see if there's any discharge. Now, what I'm, when I talk about discharge, I'm talking about if you have a conductor, if you have a high voltage conductor and it's, it's bolted to a bushion and an insulator, if it's tracking, so to put it simply, uh, parcel discharge is basically tracking. That's where the uh, the electricity basically is trying to get the earth uh, all the time, so you have to insulate it from the earth. So that's just a bit of plate that I put down to demonstrate the earth. And uh, it's trying to get the earth all the time. And if there's a crack, if the insulation is compromised, uh, it, it, it discharges and it creates what's called a creepage path. Now, guys that work in EVs, I thought, I don't know, maybe this may be useful, this sort of information. This picks up two things, this does two tests. The ultrasonic, which is sound, so uh, if it's really, re if you get really, really bad discharge, you can actually hear it crackling or fizzling uh, or buzzing. And this here is transient earth voltage. So what that is, is uh, if there is discharge in the, in the earth, in the, in the, the, the state work, then it actually has uh, a voltage present. So this face here then, uh, you put that straight onto it and uh, it picks up. So those wee, those wee lights there, I'll just turn it on for a second, that ultra will flash away there because believe it or not, it's picking up the gimbal that I'm using here and there's no transient earth voltage, so it's green. Green's good, green's you can go ahead with it and stuff like that. But I'll just demonstrate how sensitive this thing is and that's why it's no good to me for testing parking sensors. So. Back in a sec. Okay, uh, here's the old chef here again, and we'll just turn it on. I've taken the wee gimbal off uh, the camera, so we're just on the handheld here. It's, uh, believe it or not, it's picking up the motors, as I said earlier on there. So this is how sensitive it is. That wee microphone there, if I just rub my fingers, you can see it. So all I'm doing is just rub my fingers in front of it. And it's picking it up. So that's just that's how sensitive it is. And it ain't any good for parking sensors. I'll just demonstrate that. Okay, ignition's on. Car's in reverse. You probably hear it there. It's beeping away there. So you hear that beeping as I'm standing behind the parking sensors here. So if I turn our alter tab on. It's just on full time because it's it's hearing those those it's hearing those sensors clicking. So no matter where I uh, I go here, it's on. And I thought initially it was maybe the fluorescent lights it was picking up or whatever, but that it's the sound it's picking up. So it's purely the sound. So I'll just see if I can do this. I'm going to set this. Uh, we'll just set it on the roof like that. Just set set it on the roof like that, maybe without uh, covering the ultrasonic. So what I'll do is I'll just flick it out of gear. Oh, flick it out of reverse there. And that's went off. So it's picking up those parking sensors no matter where I am in the room here. So it ain't no good. So that's why I decided to uh, make up 
the, the wee ultrasonic test there for parking sensors. They say, if you, if you ever get a parking sensor fault, and you wonder, I've done a few in the past where you had parking sensor faults and you read the codes and maybe it's not totally clear of which one it is that, that's at fault. Some, some of them will tell you which one it is, some, some don't. Uh, some talk about uh, left front and maybe you don't know what one it is because there's multiple ones in it. There's four in the back or five or six. So that's why I decided to make this wee thing up because that there ain't no good to me. So I'll show you, uh, show you an action here. Right, here we are. We've got our uh, uh, car in reverse, ignition's on, and we've got our wee test device. It's a known good, There's nothing wrong with these parking sensors. These parking sensors work great, but uh, we've got our wee Mixig uh, booted up, and uh, in the background, we've got our wee Pico 2000. Now, it does work okay with the Pico 2000, but it's maybe going to show the wee Pico up here a wee bit because. It, uh, it's just the wee pig which is tossing out the sample rate, I don't think. But anyway, uh, so if I offer it up to the parking sensor, there's the kind of signal I'm getting. So it's a, a, a visual, and that's on this, this one thing. So I'll see if I can get the both in shot at the same time for you guys. So there we are. So that's picking up the wee clicking from the parking sensor there. As in, as a visual. Okay, maybe uh, move it up a wee bit. There, that's just uh, off the screen. So it's probably better at that. That's probably the best visual I can get on the mix sig there. Now that's it. 200 microseconds there and it's just sitting at a volt you probably can't see that because of the glare okay so we'll just swap the leads over here and uh, we'll try it on the Pico right that's us so the, the wee Pico up and running there we've just got we've got a repeat trigger on it and we have the same uh, time there 200 microseconds per division uh, now I've upped it to 5 volts on the scale there because uh, the 1 volt scale it was just uh, filling the whole screen but here's a wee uh, it's maybe a, a disadvantage with the Pego regarding the sample rate and stuff it's just not great but it's still there it still is it still does detect it so that's me holding the that's me holding the wand against the uh, parking sensor right flush on it so I'm not moving it and it's coming in and out and uh, it is there but I just can't uh, pick it up quick enough so that's the best that I've been able to get it on the Pago it's uh, close to the same settings that I had on the Mixig uh, I say I've had to up the scale a wee bit because the lower scale it's just it goes mad so um, there you go it's maybe a wee, bit of a, a wee bit of a disadvantage there with the Pago it just hasn't got uh, the Wii 2000 series it just hasn't got the, the the speed there to be able to pick that up uh, but it is there uh, you could use it but as I say this thing here costs ADP to make that uh, well it costs you 160 and you have to throw one on the way here's uh, I'll just show you here's what you get so we had tea on it. I've ended up with a couple of them here now. Uh, but the teas are no good to you. The transmitter are no good to you. A couple of bits of wire. I just used uh, this uh, 5 amp coils of wire that I have in my, in my box. About 10 inches of wire. And uh, get your soldering iron and uh, solder them on the wee pins. I put wee jacks in the end just so that it plugs into the, the cables. And uh, yeah, you need to have a good a good connection on it. You know, if you if you decided to put crocodile clips in that, any wee movement at all, it's going to mess it up. But uh, 
if you have a, a better scope than the E2000 or an automotive one or something, uh, it'll work great on that. So uh, it's just a, it's just another wee, just another wee tool to the arsenal. And uh, as I say, I got that off another, another, another guy's channel. So I'm not, I'm not claiming that one. But anyway, many thanks for watching. Hope that's helpful. Uh, wee bit of insight into parcel discharge and ultrasonics and yeah, wee cheap tools that, that we like to make up. So all the best now. Thanks again for watching. Bye.